Ingenious Supplies. What's up, Spikes? We're back in the lovely Spike Feeders World Headquarters for some more CEDH gameplay. Uh, before we get started, uh, you know the drill by now, hopefully. It's, it's been a couple couple episodes probably, but we are sponsored by our lovely and generous patrons, GameGenic. So, patrons and GameGenic. And GameGenic, both of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, if so, you want to support the show, you can either become a patron or become GameGenic. Oh, true. I don't know how you become GameGenic. <laughs> Maybe we'll put their email. Uh, you can reach out. I think they're in Germany, though. They are. So that might be a limited <laughs> scope. Uh, anyway, lovely products. You can see they sent us a bunch of stuff that we're doing giveaways for uh, for the next couple months. So uh, keep your eyes peeled on our socials for all those kinds of things, as well as uh, we're using their sleeves today. And um, yeah, it's just good stuff. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate them greatly. Hey, Elliot, if I was a socials, what would I be? Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where on Twitter would you find our socials? Oh, yeah. at the Spike Feeders. That's the one. Good I, job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you playing today, bud? I'm bringing back an oldie but a goodie. Mm -hmm. Zur, the Enchanter. Uh, I like this deck so much that I named my cat Zur. Uh, I don't like him as much as I like the deck. <laughs> He's a little bastard. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's it true. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a couple changes since the last time I would have showed this deck off. Um, the big one is they printed a three-mana Heliod that goes infinite with Walking Ballista. So I stuffed that in here. I don't know if there's any other things other than like some small optimizations on like counter spells that have been printed in the last like three years or whatever. But uh, yeah, hoping to play Zer. What's up, everybody? Alex again, and today I'm playing one of the simplest decks in the format. It's Goto Bandit Warlord! Today I'm once again trying to count to 11, haven't done it yet, but I swear one day I will get past 10. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> this deck is all about getting enough mana or other effects that allow me to cast Goto onto the battlefield, search up Helm of the Host, and then attack with my infinite army of infinite Godos, infinitely punching everyone in the face. Sounds fun. <laughs> it is. Uh, I'm Aaron. I'm playing uh, Ikra Shidiki Dargo today. Uh, I, I, I'm trying. This is the next on my list of Dargo variants to play. Dargo is one of my favorite cards ever printed. Uh, so it's a Jun Dargo list that uses stuff like Razaketh, uh, Ad Nauseam, and Dargo itself to generate some sort of infinite uh, and kill Elliot and then everybody else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tough. Tough to be me. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Jim. I am playing Dawn Waker Thrasios today. This is a deck by Comedian, a good friend of the channel. Uh, in fact, you can see in the in the thing of us playing Magic with Comedian. Um, by Somewhere. the time this comes out, that episode will have also come out. So, yeah, check um, the, the idea behind this deck is uh, it's a mid-range deck and generally looks to get Zerda out to reduce the activation cost of Thrasios to two. Um, that does a really good impression of a uh, pay two draw card, which is pretty good in a lot of formats. And uh, it also has like a hundred ways to create infinite mana to draw the deck with Thrasios. Notably, it doesn't play Fast as Oracle, it doesn't play Underworld Breach, and it's not black, so it doesn't play Ad Nauseam. So mm -hmm. like the big three, not present in this deck, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, but that's what I'm looking to do today. Cool, yeah. Uh, I'm going first, which is a miracle in and of itself. Oh, and yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna draw a card for my turn. I'm going to start things off with this Bloodstained Mire, and I'm going to crack it, going to 39. Off of this Bloodstained Mire, I'm going to get a Scrubland, Ooh. and then uh, I'm going to cast uh, a pretty good card. Mm. Esper Sentinel. Rough. It's a pretty uh -huh, good card. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Rough and tough. I didn't lied. Uh, if that resolves, nobody's mental misstepping me, I'm going to pass the turn. Right on. We're going to draw. Hold oh, on. This changes nothing. Red Perfect. deck. Jund deck. You're the only one that can mental misstep me anyway. We're going to do Cavernous Souls. We're going to choose Humans. Oh. Oh, oh not a Samurai, but... Mm. Yeah, interacts with Samurai. Yeah, untaps himself and other Samurais, notably. Yeah, I'd like to cast Lotus Petal. <gasps> Trigger. Okay. Nice. Smart. Sucks. And pass the turn. Sucks. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. Play a Luxury Suites. Uh... Would you like to concede? <laughs> Would you like to concede? <laughs> I'll then play a Mana Crypt. Ooh. Trigger. Pay one. Smart. Frick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two mana to cast a Dolor Stone. Oh. He's, uh, not, he's not paying the one up. Oh, it's it not does, the first it, It's only first, first to non-creature. I think you're smart. I don't think so. 
Mox Opal. Oh my god. He's popping off. I thought I was supposed to ramp. <laughs> yeah. Tap those. Like yeah. This. Yeah. yeah. Cast a fence grid. Excuse me? <laughs> Did okay. we die though? <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Pass. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's some uh, aggression. Well, I can't do anything about anything that he does forever now because of this defense grid, but you know, maybe we don't just defense die. Defense grid, two. though? <laughs> That's a nice one. I'm going to play this Taiga as my land for turn, and I'm going to pass. Really? Come on, guys. I'm just trying to draw cards over here. I mean, turn two, we don't all need to vomit our hands on the board. Just one of you. Yeah. Oh, very good. I want to vomit my hand on the board. <laughs> I'm just going to play a tapped watery grave because uh, somebody played a defense grid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to play an Imperial Seal. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to search my library. Any, any effects? Cool. <laughs> not, with <laughs> not, not with a defense grid yeah. in play. <laughs> Off this Imperial Seal, I'm going to put this card on top of my library and lose two life, going to 37. Is that a snow-covered swamp? You're a snow-covered swamp. Sure am. Pass. You know, I've heard that about Alex. Oh, I should have attacked. Yeah. Should have, but you didn't. Sure. Yeah. We'll play an Ancient Tumba. We'll take two and crack our Lotus Petal. 38. Go to 38. For a total of four mana for a Thrawn Dynamo. Ooh, Ooh trigger. trigger. Yeah, go ahead and draw. Nice. We got one. Tap Thrawn Dynamo for a Basalt Monolith. Blue. Uh-huh. Yeah. Someone should do something about that. One, two, three, Ten. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Someone should do something about that. And we'll pass. <laughs> yeah, someone should. <laughs> That'd be crazy if we could, wouldn't it? Uh, that, that's all. That's it? All right. Yeah, just Untap. add six mana. You guys got a little of mana over there on the top table? What's going on? Uh, I have a mana crypt trigger. Oh. All right, Spike logo is damage. Ah, oh, no damage. no damage. Must be nice. Never damage. I'm the best player on Aaron's team. <laughs> Draw a card. <laughs> I like that one. I don't like that one. I like it a lot, actually. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> I want to cast Gamble. Gamble. Trigger Esper Sentinel. Yeah, I've got an Esper Sentinel trigger, but I don't know that it's stopping him necessarily. Oh. oh. No effect. Gambling for something, <laughs> gambling for something big. Uh, off this Gamble, I will find uh, this mystery card. Putting up the four cards, and I'm going to randomly let Jimothy choose this card. Oh, it's my time to shine. And you're already the best player on his team. <laughs> it's true. You are. Let's see if you can. Follow it up. No, don't do it, Jim. Good luck, Jim. You got this. <sighs> okay. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Ooh. Ooh. We did it. We did it. Oh! We did it. Oh! Yeah, get camera. that. Get that face. Cotton get that face. Yes. I read in tomb. I'm working out for you, Aaron. That's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna add a green off my mox uh, something here and play a uh, fine one elves, I guess. Oh, mm. uh, oh that's yeah, that's creature. cool. Uh, pass the turn. <laughs> You already had your draw this turn. I know. Also, it's a non-creature. I'll draw a card. <laughs> the I'll second one in. The yeah. saddest guy's cradle you'll ever see. Ooh. You got a one mana, uh, what, whatchamacallit? You know, I'm glad you asked. Hostage the turn. Uh, effect. <laughs> take, take his uh, one draw. Okay. Draw. Threaten. Threaten. <laughs> what did I say? Hostage? hostage. Cringe. You can, you can hostage take her two times on Wednesday and that's all you can think about now. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, I got, I got hella hostage takered. Okay. I mean, there's a defense grid in play, right? Yeah. So I'm going to play this swamp. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast this dark ritual. That's a lot of wow. mania. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go up to three black. Three black. Ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. <laughs> main phase ad nauseum. Well, I can't do it somebody's end step, can I? <laughs> uh, I'd like to add three to my mana pool. You may. And I'll untap his alt mana. Oh, that's crazy. He can do that as many times as he wants. <laughs> no, I can, actually, I can only do it once. Oh. Mm, gotta no, take game actions or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a slow play one. Okay, speaking, any effects. Speaking as the head judge. I, I, I just made my effect. Shut up. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to start revealing to ad nauseum. Let's go. Okay. Zero. Yep. Five. 32. Cringe. <laughs> Zero. Zero? Yep. That's a pretty good one. One. 31. That's a funny one. Does nothing, potentially. Zero. Zero. Oh, we play a lot of lands in this deck. Two. 29. Zero. One. Two. 26. Two. 24. <laughs> Two. 22. <laughs> Oh, that one's pretty good. I'm gonna call my defense grid. <laughs> no. <laughs> Morphic pool, sunken ruins. 
cursed totem. Twenty. Mm-hmm. I don't know that. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Auto right? my Dargo. <laughs> what am I at? 22? 20. 20? Oh, yeah, we, we're still going. 19. 19. Oh, that's 16. bad. 16. <laughs> oh, zero again. I'm sick. 15. Uh, and we had a draw effect. Yeah, Puritan. I guess you can't find the bullet. Ju- yeah, just yeah. Mystical Tutor yeah. is the only thing I've hit. Underground River. Axian Pro. 14. Felwar Stone. 12. Ay, ay, ay. Gilded Drake. 10. My fine horn elves. You already hit your force. True. And I cast the Ad Nauseum. Right? Yeah. Forget, forget about it. Oh. 8. You can Mystical. And the for Mystical Tutor. Demonic Consultation. So I've got this card. Mystical. And then Git Probe to draw it. <clears throat> Chrome mo- oh, yeah. Git Pro. Cast. Yeah, you okay. got the four mana available from mm-hmm. the rocks you drew? You've got I it. think so. I yeah. think so. So I will stop there. At eight. At eight life, putting a bunch of cards into my hand. Thanks for the defense grid, pal. <laughs> um, I played a land for turn, so mm-hmm. let's ignore that. Uh, we'll start with this Chrome Mox. Uh, in response to Chrome Mox, I'd like to add three mana. I'll actually scream. I will. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to exile. I don't think it matters. We're never casting this Cyclonic Rift. Do you have enough colored sources to do this? That's what we're going to find out. Mm. <laughs> uh, I've got a Mana Crypt. Okay. Uh, I've got a Lotus Petal. Ooh. Uh, and I've got a card to cast, Mox Opal. Mobile, yep. Yeah. And then... Have you played your land? Yes. I have. Yeah. I played the swamp so as my land for turn. I think you're one mana short. Yes. One colored mana short. Yeah. Uh, exactly one colored mana short. Well, sort of. I agree with whatever they're saying. Yeah. But yes. You're short. Okay, continue. So tap Mox Opal, cast Mystical Tutor. Mm-hmm. Off this Mystical Tutor, I'm going to put some card that probably nobody's ever cast before. Uh, mm-hmm. Demo- Demonique Consultation. Yeah, I'll put that on top of my library. Well, welcome to the French restream, I suppose. Yeah, yeah true, true. Card quality is suspect in this deck. <laughs> Amogus. Okay, anyway. I'm going to go to six life and cast a Gitaxian probe. Who are you targeting? Uh, you know, I want to see I want to see how close Alex was. All right, I'd like to Alex's add hand. three man, my mana pool and untap my basalt monolith. <laughs> I need to stop giving him opportunities to take <laughs> game actions. Yeah. Stop you passing can, priority. Just yeah. show, show the class. You can sure show the thing. class. Uh, we've got a fury. Okay. We've got Dead an guy. ever flowing chalice. Okay, that doesn't do it. Yeah. We've got two mountains. Oh. Okay. So, so heavily dependent on the next draw. Yeah, yeah. but like. He, he had quite a few outs, yeah. I think. So I, th- I think going for it here was was relevant. Um, I'll draw a card. This um, We won't make Stop. that joke twice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep getting away with this. Let's tap this Mana Crypt. This is a very important step. Uh, we'll play this Talisman of Dominance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then we will uh, tap the Chromox for a blue because I exiled Cyclonic Rift. Sacrifice Lotus Petal for a blue. Mm-hmm. Cast Thassa's Oracle. Uh, any response to the cast? Defense grid still in play. Don't you dare! <laughs> so this is all I have left. To yeah, yeah <laughs> fair. Uh, ETB trigger hold priority. I'll yeah. lose another life. Uh, cast demonic consultation. All right, I will pass. What card are you naming? Get the name of card. Uh, I'm gonna name Tragic Arrogance. Uh, smart. Uh, That's ooh, a good one. It's nice. a nice way. To, nice way to die. What, quality? Quality? what if I? Yeah. Sh- may I? Well, do you have an effect? I don't. Oh, I've got an effect. Okay. You already passed, I'll you already passed you. priority. So I'll exile the top six. Yeah. Uh, tragic mm-hmm. arrogance is not there. Oh, okay. Um, we'll put the rest of my list on on the screen or something. Oh, we okay. won't, but just, you can look at it. Tragic arrogance not here. Um, Thoracal trigger. What does the Thoracal trigger do when it resolves? Uh, well, I've currently got devotion uh, to blue equal to two, Dang. so I'm going shut to up, put. Shut up. I'd like to respond. I, I actually hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, quick one. Yeah, very yeah. good. That um, was a weird game because of Aaron's rollout, I think. Yeah. Um, the defense grid really warped my strategy. It was weird too because you paid for it and you paid for it on the first turn and then you didn't play anything. Shut up. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> like I yeah. I think I drew 
two cards off of this Esper Sentinel? I think my I hand was one. just like really good. I kept a... Oh, no, you gave him one, and I, I gave him one. Too. I yeah. kept a bad hand. What I probably <clears throat> should have done... I So I, I had a Mox Diamond into my hand with these two lands, and it was really rough because I didn't have a turn one Dork to play. Mm -hmm. So it was like maybe a bad keep. In, in fact, certainly a bad keep. And I also <laughs> had crop rotation, which is kind of awkward when you already have the guy's cradle in your hand. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I kept because I had a Sylvan Library, and what oh. I probably should have done was went Taiga, Mox Diamond, pitch the guy's cradle, Sylvan Library, turn one, yeah. to ensure my later land drops. Yep. That probably would have been the better play. Because I also the... had a Ristic Study in my hand. Oh, that would have been oh, a follow-up yeah. on turn two. Yeah. But I don't know. I think it was just a, a, a really bad misplay. I should have... Shouldn't have kept it, and then if I did keep it, which I did, I should have played it out differently. Yeah, it feels but... bad discarding the cradle to the diamond, right? But yeah, yeah you like kind of have to in that situation. There. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to discard this Finehorn Elves off Gamble specifically, mm -hmm. uh, so that I can then Final Fortune and Twin Flame this dual caster. Yeah, yeah that would have been yeah. real Ooh. good. Real, real good. Yeah. Uh, Elliot, you want to do the honors to see what I was going to draw? Oh, what do we got? Uh, no, that that kind of screws stone me. Yeah. Nothing, but I mean, oh, actually, I, I had a basic swamp. Yeah. Even. yeah, so yeah, that's <laughs> not, funny. Not, not not really the the dub there. The thing that I was debating doing instead of going for it there was I had a Ristic study of my own. Mm -hmm. Um, but the swan song in my hand was uncastable because of this defense grid. So yeah. uh, I didn't feel comfortable casting the Ristic and passing around again. And and yeah, the defense grid was there, so. <laughs> We went for it. Yeah, and oh, got paid. Absolutely. Got <laughs> yeah. Well, paid. speaking of getting paid, we want to shout out one more time our wonderful sponsor, Game Genic. Uh, Game Genic has been a sponsor of the channel for our Better Know Combo series for a long time. And as Elliot told you in the beginning of the show, they've since sponsored the entire channel. So it's literally keeping the lights on around here. We want to say thank you so much to Game Genic. And you folks can find their products, services, and other equip triggers. Equip triggers. Equip triggers. Equip triggers. Yeah. Accoutrement, <laughs> equipment. Equip triggers. Equipment. Whatever you want. Starts playing Goda. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and and folks, keep in mind uh, a lot of the Game Genic stuff isn't just good for card games. If you've got people in your life that like playing board games, including yourself, including the people that you love, check out some of their uh, products like the Cards Lair. Very yeah. nice for board games, really high quality stuff. And we just want to say thanks again to all of our patrons as well. You're going to hear Jim's voice telling you all about those folks right after this. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our patron supporters, especially those on the screen right now. The support you give us helps us keep the lights on and keeps us making cool content like this every week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we'll catch you next time.